the reason I got this fixed and didn't just leave it or sell it or something is because it's sentimental. This is the camera that I started YouTube with. This is what all this started with. I still haven't finished paying for this camera, actually. I got it on credit, and I think I've paid, I don't know, maybe 70, 80%. So I'm still paying for it, and it's, like I said, I love this camera. It made this channel with me, so it kind of it brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Freewell Glow Mist One Eighth. It's a magnetic filter, so you can, you know, just pry it open like this. This goes onto your lens. This kind of just clips in, and you have a metallic. Metallic a magnetic lens cap. Oh, I hear something. Super jinky. Right, I think I know what this is, and I've been waiting for this for a little while. This was actually a very, very expensive mistake. It's a little bit loud here because they're like making holes in the courtyard outside, but this. You guys there? It's a very expensive mistake. This is uh, my Sony a7 III. And, um, yeah, it cost me about, I think, $400. I'll check in a minute exactly how much it is in dollars to fix. But it was quite an expensive fix. Now, I love this little go-to camera because I can basically stick it here and you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. It's stuck with one of these, which is pretty cool. You kind of wash it to keep it clean. So this, right here, is no doubt my camera one thousand seven hundred and thirty one is what is for a yeah a shitload of stuff there is the broken stuff Let's have a look at this this is the inside of the Sony a7 III. So this is basically everything that got fried. Look at that, LCD screen, motherboard, and whatchamacallit. Ah. Out you come, baby. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. My battery? my battery. All right, um, let me tell you guys about this mistake and what happened. And I think one big problem is that <laughs> I'm gonna have to put all my settings back because I'm guessing it didn't remember any of my settings. Yep, auto, that is not great. 1731, Polish Zlotys in dollars. Four hundred and fifty-five dollars fifty-five cents. That is how much it cost for this mistake, and that is a ton of money. And let me show you guys exactly what happened. I was trying to build this Peter McKinnon light stand that I can basically move around and not worry where everything is. So I've got the same sound, same light, same setup. Everything is nice and stiff. And what I did is I plugged in the V mount straight into the camera. So instead of 7.2 volts, it got 14.8 volts, and that basically hurt it a lot. After that, I bought myself this cool little thing. I think it's, I don't remember what company, I think it's Andor or something, where you put on a V-mount, you can basically click it off. Yep, Andor, there you go. And it has got 15 volt out, 12 volt out for your monitor, 8 volt out for your camera, 5 volt out for your batteries and shit. So that is pretty cool, you put it on, Turn it on and everything works and it's all connected to this one V-mount except for the Aperture 120D which I have connected to the power at the moment but I can easily just stick on one of these big boys and everything works. So I am not the best at electricity. I really am not. I know a lot of you might think, geez what an idiot but 
there are some of us out there that have absolutely no idea about electricity and I am one of those people. I thought if I just stick it in there with the same cable it should work. I was also thinking that such an expensive camera probably has some kind of safety feature so they don't fry all this stuff which cost $455.55. So that was a real bummer. It really hurt me because that is a shitload of money that I did not want to lose. And um, these guys, these guys are just so loud. I was about to say the cool thing about Insta360 is that you can carry it and put it anywhere. Um, and you can just stick it on the window like this. But the uncool thing is the button. It's so easy to touch. I think I'm gonna have to set the button to something else so it's not set to, I don't know, but it's easy to, to change. So like at the moment you're stuck on the window and I'm just talking to you and I can take you off with this kind of uh, thing and I can like walk around and I can, I don't know, go over to my light stand and stick you on my light stand and I can carry on talking, I can go around. I can go around here. I don't know how good the audio is so far away. But yeah, that is my one stupid mistake with the Sony a7 III. And it was really painful. I mean, $455. I could have used that for a ton more different things. I could have bought myself a Mini 2 and had a backup. But um, we all learn from our mistakes, and I've learned that you got to check everything. And I, since I have also bought a DTAP from the um, actual V-mount battery that with a like converter thing, whatever it is, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know about electricity that goes into your camera with the dummy battery. So instead of using the cable that I do use, which is basically just one of these, so you can click it, take it out, and it is constantly charged. That is what I stuck in, just from there to there. But now you have like a V-mount um, D-tap battery that you stick from here. It's got a little like thing here that converts it and it kind of all works fine. So that is gonna be a lot better, a lot easier. Let's, uh, there we go. Now, the thing about the Insta360 Go 2 is that it lasts for 10 minutes when it's recording. You can do, I think, 15 minutes and 30 minutes, but then it says it's got to have, like, movement, so wind cooling it down, because it does, yeah, I can feel it, it does get pretty hot. <sighs> this is just one of those videos. Actually, I haven't done one of these videos before, and I only did it because um, I was a little bit inspired by my friend, Peter Lindgren, who's been doing awesome vlogs on his vlog channel recently that have kind of made me want to go out and, you know, do stuff that kind of lets off some steam. And I will be doing it on this channel, so if you don't want to watch it, just skip ahead. If you do want to watch it and see me talk about just basically any crap, then you can do that. This, by the way, right here, let's snap you on my chest, is my planner. We've got free well out of the way. There we go, all done. And today is Wednesday, so free well comes out. And I think Friday I'm going to do the Viltrox 24mm versus the Sony 24mm GM. That is going to be awesome. Anyway, you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'm going to catch you probably today with the Freewell film. Boom.